Thank you to Oz GK for sponsoring this video. Oz GK is a figure platform dedicated to garage kit figures, ranging from popular anime franchises to games such as Genshin Impact. Check out the link in the description down below and enter code LEMON2 for a 2% discount off your entire order. Thank you for supporting me and now back to the video. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm in Xingyi Park and this place is, well, a local park famous for its quote-unquote red leaves. Like the last video, it's not exactly very red. Most of it, it's um, green with a yellowish tint, maybe orange at best. I wanted to do two shots here, but there's not really anything for me to do a second one. So this place, this location, all have to do with that. Now, with this being very greenish yellow, thankfully the sun is helping out a little bit. I'll have to do a lot of Photoshop with the colors and you'll see a little bit of how I edit things into more reddish tones without it being weird looking, something like that. Now, the time is 4.15 p.m. So I do not have much time before the sun sets. I really need the sun to push the colors here. With that being said, there's not really much for me to do here. So on a race with time, let's start working. All right, I tried to set up as fast as possible, but unfortunately the sun has set way faster than I expected. So it's covered right there by the trees. We don't have the best sunlight in terms of lighting up a tree, unfortunately. I was supposed to come this morning, but I couldn't wake up. Either way, let's take a look at what I'm using. I'm not using flash today because I'm a lazy bastard. I don't want to bring them. So one light over here, one tube light I'm going to be putting right here, shining right onto doll and using the 15 to 35 with a vertical composition looking slightly upwards like that. All right, let's take a look at the shot. Decent for a filler shot, I'd say. All right, time to pack up and move on. Just got done shooting that one photo and I'd say so far so good. Not exactly very good but not exactly mediocre either. Kind of right in the middle of things. As you can see I've walked to the other side of the lake. This place is the only place in the entire park that I can take a photo so I know I promised at the start of this year I wasn't going to stitch two days into one because that makes my output a lot more tedious and I can't do photos as I want to. But with there being nothing else to offer, I will have this stitched another day into this one. So I'll hand this over to editing me and I'll see you on the other day. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the other day. I'm currently in Shingmen Valley Park. I've been here before a while ago shooting the Japanese thing. I'll show that on screen right now. And aside from that, honestly speaking, there's not really anything noteworthy. I originally spotted a few things on Google Maps and I wanted to shoot that. Unfortunately, it seems I've demolished that or moved things around, so they no longer exist. I'll go around the place and scout and see if I can get anything good, but no promises on that part. I'm kind of afraid that the security guard might come over and just tell me to get out again. All for the best. Let's go around the place and see what we can get.
All right, now this looks interesting enough, I'd say. I think I'll shoot the red riding hood outfit right here. I'm not too sure how this is gonna work because there's a lot of shadows and the highlights are right above me. I guess stacking, again, that's kind of what I do at this point. I'll try and set up a shot and let's see what I can pull out of this place, yeah? Alright, after testing out different positions, I've got the first shot ready. Originally, I want to shoot along this lane, but for this kind of pose, I think this spot looks ultimately better. Looking upwards, something like that with a 35mm. Let's take a look at what I'm using. One flash over here, the other flash right here. There. Ah, speaking of flashes, this bloody thing right here, this refused to work just now, showing me low battery. This happened yesterday as well, but I don't know how that happened. Maybe something malfunctioned. Maybe I dropped it too hard. I might have to replace you. 15 to 35 at 35 millimeter, F4, shooting a landscape orientation, something like that. Okay, let's take a look at the shot. Decent filler shot, I'd say. Maybe a portrait orientation would be better, but I'm not too sure. This looks good to me, so let's move on. All right, here we are, literally five meters away from the first spot. That's the second shot. I think this is gonna work with a 50 millimeter shooting along this way. Purple, yellow, good contrast, good colors, blah, blah, so on, so on. <sighs> Hopefully this works because I've been getting quite a bit of mosquito bites on my hand. Even though I'm wearing long sleeves, like you get stuff on your wrist, you know? This is bad. Let's set up and get the hell out of here. After getting my hand bitten by a mosquito for like 10 million times, I've finally set up the second shot. Now, this one's relatively easy, I'd say, but I refuse to use anything less than 50 millimeters, so telephoto all the way. One flash over here. Here's something special, one flash up here, because originally I wanted to try and see if the flash could act as some sort of shadow to cover the face in a way, because I don't know if you can see or not, the face is really, really getting hit by direct sunlight. I have no other option than to use myself as a shadow, so I'll be standing over there a bit later. 24 to 70 at 60-ish millimeters, shooting a landscape shot, later being cropped down to 16 by nine or so. All right, let's take a look at the shot. Borderline acceptable, I'd say. All right, enough of this. I've had enough of the new mosquitoes. Let's pack up and get the hell out of here. Okay, that's all I need to do for this park, and although this place is around 15 minutes away from my home, I likely will never come back again, because I think I've gotten everything this place has to offer. That Japanese place over there, they even removed the flower beds on the other side, so even though it will be spring soon, there's not much on offer. Now, I know this isn't the most interesting place or the most interesting video ever, and I apologize for that. However, this is the reality of it. Sometimes I have to do uninteresting things, sometimes I have to do boring videos because that's the reality of it. I know the most eye-catching thing, the most eye-catching highlights on my Instagram page or my Twitter page, it is something that I do once every month or once every two months. So just bear with me here. Either way, thank you very much for watching to the very end of the video. A lot of people don't get it at this point. So if you have anything you want to see, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of me and I will see you in the next video. Lemon out.